this point of season, you want to support the point of view. What is just stood out to you about that game? Especially on the offensive end, he's been trying to you know, over the things in his place. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> I think the biggest thing is he's just being decisive. You know, I tell him that all the time, and you know, you can see it in his moves, you can see it in his play. He's just being aggressive. Even in, um, where were we just at Milwaukee? You know, being able, even though he lost the ball a bunch of times going up to the rim, but just being aggressive and trying to get up there and finish, uh, using his touches, his his floaters, his threes, um, really setting the tone for us. I think that was huge. Um, but he's really, you know, I said it to Serena, like he was the reason why we stayed in the game. You know, myself and DG, we were kind of, you know, kind of initiate stuff and we were we're doing an okay job everybody we were kind of feeling it feeling out but ed was really the consistent guy you know throughout the entire night so you know that's that's the evan we know and he's two for two from three you know obviously the boards but you know he he had an impact especially with jay out as well and then um what did you see just in the fourth quarter especially the way he was playing this game <clears throat> which you know jb talked about how like shots would fall with everyone looks like mm-hmm. guys normally get in our good looks but as you guys battle through that, what do you see Yeah, I think, you know, the, the biggest thing is continuing to shoot him. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I I said this to Serena as well. Like, you know, personally for me, I didn't start the game out the way I had wanted to. I didn't set that tone. Mm-hmm. Took some bad ones. And even tonight, I missed a lot of guys who were open. Uh, thankfully, DG carried us with the assist. But, you know, I got to be I gotta be better at finding guys. You know, I had turnovers in a situation where guys were open. Um, and then as a group, you know, we, we missed some open shots. And, you know, we didn't hang our head. And that's a testament of a team that's, you know, mentally growing, you know, and continuing to find ways to be better. But, you know, the shots will fall. We took some good ones. And, you know, they made them when they, when they, when they mattered. Isaac hit a big one. Um, I hit a few, you know, Jetty hit one, Dean hit one. Uh, so it's just the biggest thing is just understanding, um, <clears throat> continue to be aggressive, continue to shoot. Because uh, at the end of the day, you know, you don't, you can't make a shot if you don't take it. And what have you seen from Isaac too, you know, that, that corner three? Mm-hmm. Just like him searching for that confidence and finding it, but, you know, in that moment, he needed to take that shot. Yeah, I think he, he was a plus 14s on the floor. You know, his impact was huge. Um, <clears throat> sorry, just... You know, his overall confidence, you know, whether it's the three ball or just finding ways to get attacking and transition, um, you know, getting stops and running, getting big rebounds. He got like three or four at the end of the game. Um, getting stops, you know, his defenses, you know, we all what, know what he can do on that end. But as a, as a whole, he's just a pest. He's everywhere. Um, you know, without him, you know, we're not in this position. He put him on the toughest matchup, and then he's still finding ways to run and transition, create plays, and, and be, be the player he is for us. Yeah. Getting punishment, yes, <clears throat> Aside from to win, what can you point to tonight and say, okay, we're figuring out how to close out games? Um, <clears throat> I think the biggest thing is we didn't play great um, and we won. You know, I think that's the biggest takeaway. Like, we really didn't play great now. Granted, there's certain things that we can look to and, and say, like, okay, we did this and that, but like, like as a whole, we just didn't play great. And then you come to the fourth and we execute. And, you know, that's been the biggest thing throughout past six, seven, seven games, whatever it was, just find a way to execute, you know, and even if the shots didn't fall tonight, you know, in the in crunch time, we're getting to what we want, you know, and we're getting the shots that we want to take. And, you know, they went in tonight and just continuing to, to trust in our stuff and execute and get into our spots. Um, no matter how helter skelter the game may be, uh, understanding that, you know, the fourth quarter, eight to six minutes and below, um, understanding the game changes and, you know, it's pace slows and we got to be able to execute as a whole. And we did that tonight. Tonight was the first night that Evan made more than one mm-hmm. when he's not in his career, or just in general. This season. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was like, I don't think that. Was, I, I'm gonna he's fact check you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> now you you good. When he's not only taking but making them, how much does that space the floor for you? One hundred percent. You know, um, you know, he's he's continuously working on it. If you guys watch him after practice, if you watch him after shoot around, if you watch him pregame, he's always continuously finding ways to improve that shot. And you know, not even just for us, but for himself. You know, if you have to go out there and close close out them, he gets by you on one dribble, and he's already at the rim, and he's a tremendous passer. So if you help, now somebody's open. There's just so many avenues of of things that he can get to out of that. You know, using the three, and I think that's what he's farthest along from out of his all of his stuff. I think that's the biggest thing that he can continue to get better at. And, you know, <clears throat> if that's that's the farthest thing you're from, you're, you're in pretty good shape as a player. So he's, you know, when you see him make those two tonight, you got to respect it. Now they got to look. They're peaking this way, me and DG or whoever's attacking that way. Um, it opens the floor up. And, you know, we're not expecting it to just 
happen happen you know overnight it's going to continue to be a process and it's great to see him taking and making those shots and even when they're not falling continuing to take those shots and you know he's, he continuously puts that work in and puts that time in so you're seeing the work continuously come to fruition Jeff, Jeff, uh, Jamie talked about it before the game, how, you know, when, when Jared's out, uh, I think he sort of has to shift his responsibility mm-hmm. to uh, rim protection. Mm-hmm. Somebody else has to come in and maybe clean up the rebounds. How much, how conscious are you, are the rest of you guys, that, you know, somebody else has to step into that role and, and clean up on the boards? That yeah, uh, big time. You know, you, you look at the, the board spread out. Dean Wade comes in, has eight. I have five. Um, Isaac has six. You know, I think the biggest thing is us getting there and gang rebounding. Um, understanding as a group that, like, like you said, when we're missing, you know, one of our one of our footers, we got to go out there and do that. And also, when the guards get it, or other guys get it, we're out on the break. And even when Ev gets it, he's handling it and pushing it on the break as well. So it um it, it gets to our it goes to our advantage. And um, we did that tonight. Um, we I think we out rebounded them. We did, yeah. <clears throat> so I think the biggest thing is just finding ways to have each other's back when a guy's out. And Ev had 13 of them, but we all as a group stepped up. One more. Um, Jamie was talking about like um, in the timeouts and Patrick and Sarah, like the conversations about you know, about the looks you guys were getting and fighting through that. Like, mm-hmm. what were those conversations like, and um, how do you guys take those in those moments of like not? I guess I'm working through frustration and yeah. shots not falling, but knowing that like there are the ones that keep can. keep shooting, keep letting them fly. It's not like we were we took some bad ones. I, I took some bad ones, you know, but the good ones we took, like you know. I'd say I probably say it to Jetty Osmond the most, but like just keep shooting, man. Like you know they're gonna fall, you know. And on top of that, if you don't take the looks, now you're that may be the best look of our possession, you know. And then you come in and now it leads to a contested shot, it leads to a turnover. So continuing to shoot, like Dean Wade, you know he went one of five, but there were five great shots. You know, granted they were short, but he was he was still having the confidence to take it. That's what's gonna continue to take us to the next level because, like I said, you 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 can't make a shot if you don't take it. So just continuing to have that confidence in yourselves and in each other. Thank you.